Cool. All right, people, how we doing? This is Chris G. Everything, Chris. I'm here with a very, very special guest. Here with a legend. Trash talker, only talked trash when he was spoken trash to, and he's the father of one of the legends in WBBL basketball. Shout out my guy, Garnet Gale. How you doing, sir? I'm good, thank you. How are you? <laughs> I'm great, sir. I'm great, sir. Thank you for coming on, first of all. And tell us, man, what have you been up to lately and what's been going on recently? Nothing much. Um, the last time I played seriously was in Malaga for the uh, Masters. Um, got injured. I'm recovered now, thank God. Um, and just trying to keep myself healthy and in shape. Definitely, man. Talk to us about how basketball was back when you was playing compared to now, you know, in the BBO. What's the things that you see that have improved and things that you think they could still improve on? I just think there's a different intensity level um, when we were back playing. Um, I'm not, skill level's always been up there quite high, but I just think people's understanding and people's intensity levels were so much higher back then. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And do you feel like as well, in terms of people's approach to the game is a lot different to it than it was back then to now? Definitely. Um, I think a lot of the younger kids come through are expecting to get on court with a limited repertoire of skills, um, where back then, if you didn't bring something more than just a shooter, if you couldn't play D and pass the ball and do all, all the little things that made you a basketball player, you weren't stepping on any court whatsoever. True, true. And true to that as well. And then you feel like the discipline is different as well, like you're saying, because there's, there's a lot of players nowadays, they're getting on teams being specialists in one thing. Like You feel that's changed as well in terms of players had to be able to do everything and yeah. more discipline as well. Yeah, I, I just think that the younger generation, I'm not getting me wrong, they're watching TV and they see the Steph Currys in this world and the yeah. LeBrons in this world and they're trying to emulate them, which is fine. Yeah. But you've got to put things into perspective. In this country, that's not what we need. We need a more developed all round a passer, a shooter, a rebounder, a defender, a person that understands the game and sees a game as a peripheral, not as a single skill. And also, saying to that though, a lot of people, because they see Steph Curry and LeBron James doing these things, they don't realise they actually work on those things that they do. Steph Curry doesn't just come in and shoot, he actually works on it. And do you feel like if they've seen the work effort, they might change their approach a bit more? Yeah, I, and you're correct. The, they see the end product, not the hours and hours that they put into achieving that goal. And you're right. And maybe it's trying to find the right coach to help you with the, the little adjustments that make you a better passer or a better shooter or makes you or give you a bit more knowledge to understand the game. And that's what I think the younger generation is lacking now. There are some people like Quinn Ellis, there's Cameron Hildreth, who you can see the knowledge is there and when they play the game, you can see, they can see opening up in pictures, in a picture form, right? Two, three passes ahead. And that's the progression where most people need to be at. Yeah, and also talking of them, you know, Hildreth and Quinn Ellis, they come from a family background. Talk to us how proud of you are, proud you are of your child. She's doing amazing things in the WBBL. Yeah, George has always been a talent. She's always been an excellent shooter. Um, obviously, that comes from her mom and her auntie here. Me, I was always been a workhorse, and I've had to work at my craft to be able to play the level I played at. But yeah, she's very, very talented. I personally think she's lazy. <laughs> but hey, I'll, 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 I've said it now and I was, always would say she can do so much more she wants to put her mind to it I didn't say that Georgia by the way don't beat oh, me I'll up say, right <laughs> I'll, say, I'll say she knows I keep calling her lazy because I think she can do so much more yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely you know I mean and I think that in summertime there's things I've seen her do and I think she doesn't bring it into the game but Again, you know, that's a that's let dad make that critique right there. <laughs> well, yeah, we, we spend a lot of time in the summer, me, her, and a brother that they she don't really communicate with, right? But we spend a lot of time working with her, working up, coming off screens, pull up, hezzies, crossovers in preparation for, for games like this, and then obviously going into Europe as well. And yeah, so she has the, the acquired skill, it's whether or not she has confidence with herself to do with them in the flow of a game. Definitely, definitely, man. And Garnet, thank you for that. Thank you for your insight as well, because, you know, I feel like a lot of young generation players need to hear this and understand, you know, there's a lot of time and effort that goes into becoming a great player. So thank you for giving that insight for me. No, and, and you are correct. There, I, when I very first started playing, it was the hours, the eight, nine hours I put in before practice that made my development curve so steep. For me, not playing, started playing until I was 23, and then people go, oh my God, you can actually play this game. It's just the, the extra effort you need to put in. 
Definitely. And also, guy and girl, thank you for coming on. We're going to get back to the game. And, you know, again, it's an honour to have you on. You know what I mean? As always. Oh, and thank you. Thank you, thank you for me. inspiring the youth and that. And All right. No, thank you. Hopefully, I'll continue doing that at my old age. Oh, yeah. You, you never know. <laughs> Chris G, everything, Chris. We're out. Peace. Everything, everything, Chris. Uh.